Hi, I'm Charlene, and today I'll show you how to create an A-B test for forms in Clavia. As a business owner, you know that effective marketing is key to growing your business. But how do you know what works and what doesn't? An A-B test in Clavio measures how different elements of your sign-up forms perform so that you can ensure it resonates well and acquires new subscribers. First, choose what you want to test, the colors, copy, or content. Let's test your colors. We will want to create two or more versions of your forms, each with a different color. There are three ways to create an A-B test for your sign-up form. From the right side menu on the sign-up form page, by clicking into the analytics for a live form, and from inside of the form builder. For this test, we can start in the form builder. Select create an A-B test at the top. Here, you can name your test and name your different form variations, blue and gray. Underneath the two default variations is the ability to add more if you would like to test more than two variations of a form. Keep in mind that the more variations you add, the longer you'll need to run your test. An ideal A-B test will have between two to four variations. Once you're set here, you can select Create. This brings you back to the form editor, except you now have more options on the top left. The first new options allow you to toggle between your form variations. Next to it, you can also edit the name of your current variation, clone it, or delete it. Let's say you want to create an A-B test to see how the color in your form can influence submission total. Select the blue color in variation A, followed by toggling into variation B and selecting the gray color here. Once that's done, you can click Continue to Settings on the top right, which brings you to the page where you can dictate the parameters of the test. As you can see, we have the variations that you've set up, and then we have the options to change the weight of those variations. This determines how much traffic goes to variations of your form. By default, each form will appear to an equal number of viewers. However, you have the option to toggle these buttons over here, where you can actually change the weight of the test. So if you want to show one version to 70% of visitors and other version to 30% of visitors, for example, you can do that here. But let's toggle this back to automatic for now. At the bottom are the settings to determine the winning variation. You can either allow the winner to be detected automatically over time, or you can set a specific date time for this test. Leave both settings checked if you want the winner to be detected automatically only up to a certain point. You can also add notes at the bottom to remind yourself and teammates of what the purpose of this A-B test is. Check that your settings are ready, then click Publish A-B test on the top right. One thing to note is that once an A-B test is running, you cannot edit it. So make sure that all of your settings and form edits are ready before setting the test live. To edit the content, you'll have to end the test and start it again. Once you send your test emails, track the results. While the test is running or after you completed your A-B test, you can see the data in your account by clicking on the form. In the overview page, you can see how your form is performing overall. Click to the A-B test results tab to dive into the analytics of your A-B test specifically. You'll be able to see which version performed better and use that information to optimize your future campaigns. With A-B testing in Clavio, you can maximize the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns and create more personalized and impactful communications. <music>